Hello, my beautiful creatives, and welcome back to my art studio. My name is Chrissy B, and I'm a creativity coach hoping to inspire you to live a more creative life every day. Now, it has been quite a while since I've worked in my travel notebook, so today is the day I'm gonna getting back to it. I'd like to make this more of a practice in my life, more of a, at least a weekly practice, not necessarily daily, but I would love to see this come out more often because I really enjoy um, working in it. Today, I've decided I'm gonna use two distress stains to color my background. And I'm using picked raspberry and carved pumpkin, I think is what that orange is called. So I thought down in this lower right hand corner I would draw a little sketchy kind of a girl and I'm using a brand new brown charcoal pencil. Now I'll be doing this girl in a few different layers and I just start with a brown charcoal pencil and then I will go over her a little sketchier in a black charcoal pencil and then when I kind of figure out what lines that I really like on her I will also use a black ink pen and also a white ink pen. I was loving where this cute little girl was going and I decided to grab an ink pen and just write the word brave down her arm. Yeah, I just thought she was so cute and I was just really enjoying the process of just kind of doodling in my travel notebook.
I really liked how this little girl was turning out. She just looks very cartoony and cute and I don't know. She's totally sweet. I love it. But I decided that this page needed something else. So I decided to take my charcoal pencil and just make some random doodly marks. I don't get to use my letter stencils as often as I would like. That's totally my own fault, but I decided I was going to pull that out so that way I could put today's date in the lower left hand corner because I knew I was going to be journaling about how I was feeling today. Now as for this little tiny stencil, I have a heck of a time trying to find anything that fits into it. Tip-wise, like, can you find a pen that fits? Maybe a pencil would work? I don't know. But here I am trying it again, and it completely fails. It does not work. So I decide I'm just going to write it by hand anyways. come back to the little girl in the lower right hand corner I just decided to do a little bit more inking on her. She was just fun. There's parts of it that I kind of cringe at but there's other parts that I'm like oh that's really cool. I like her. She's just really whimsical. So this is what my page looks like before I do any journaling on it and I want to just kind of let you take a peek at that before I actually stop and do some journaling. There it is. That's my finished page. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you liked what you saw. Until next time, bye for now.